you know, so I brought up some very valid points for all of you to consider whenever you're out in the world decoding these death cult members. Because they're everywhere, interlaced throughout every community, right down to every business, to every side street that most people don't realize is there. All you have to do is just drive through the community and uh, observe the data and the environment. So the next step, as I see it, would be, since everybody, you know, just turns around and acts like they're not gaslighting, being psychotic with their mobbing. It's just a matter of time before everybody is held accountable to witness murders happen right out in the public. Gladiator style. Moreover than that, my pressing concern every day is when I exit my vehicle, these people break in and enter into your targets on the regular. That is the level of psychopathy out here in this cesspool. So whenever you have your corruption of law, your corruption of judicial, your corruption in the medical, in the medical field too, What kind of society are we turning out by disengaging from respect of integrity as a practice? These are your death cult members, honey. And just because it was somebody that dressed up as Uncle Sam, it was really Willy Wonka and he made you all bitches, Nazi ass assholes. And gave you the goddamn Kool-Aid. And now, boom, gang stalkers. Y'all are Nazi trained. Let me say that again. You all are Nazi trained. And if you'd done your own homework, you would have known that. But it's okay, I did it. Now, confirm it for yourselves. If you have a sense of moral compunction, and if you don't, well, disregard and just keep on with your murderous ways the Nazis taught you with your gaslighting and your psychotic street theater and your compensation of, of compromise of integrity. Because the biggest portion of your gang stalkers are nothing more than goddamn handout recipients of Willy Wonka's government. Goddamn help recipients of the government that found the demographic to allow themselves to sell out their own integrity. Make you all swim in the same goddamn sewer with child molesters. When I look at you, I see a child molester enabler. When I look at you, I see the corrupted judicial system that enables child molestation. Because it's true. You're a cesspool. Remember, gang stalking doesn't exist. So you can just throw in whatever bias you want. That's how it works. Y'all are psychotic liars, pathological in existence. But the good news is, we all should be able to hit that reset real good and just get the fuck out of Carmickville and eradicate and abolish gang stalking in every aspect. Never mind how it got there already. Just fix it. Just fix it. Y'all can do that, right? And, the, and those that resist fixing it, well, those are the true hoes. I would suggest you just step back and watch how karma offs their head as a public spectacle. Because, you know, there's a lot of that coming. But seriously, on the other note, that most 3D can really identify with. The ones that resist 
that hold on tight to keeping the gang stalking alive. That's the true crime here. Those are your true abomination of existence. The question isn't how the fuck did we get there? The question is how the fuck do we get rid of it right now and protect the marks of the targeted individuals, your lascivious, 